Hello everybody and a good morning. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Thunder Chief Bill in action. That's the drama, baby. Okay. I know it don't look like I did much. <laughs> I did get a lot done yesterday. I was just a priming and a sanding all day. Pretty much filling, priming, sanding. <laughs> But uh, I got her looking pretty good. And uh, actually, I didn't start priming until last night. And this wing here, I ran out of primer. Didn't quite get enough on, but I got a couple little spots I need to hit yet. But actually, it's looking pretty good. This one's looking pretty good. That's just light on primer there. Couple little dots on that seam. Not bad. Look at this. Look what ain't here. Oh, he's looking in the right spot. Look what's not here. That door. I'm gonna move that bad boy right there, but I'm just gonna cut it out of that uh, skin and then use that skin for my door. And a little old school, just put a little wood in the corners, you know. And that'll do just fine. And my next one, wing, I'm just going to move my door over here, square with the hinge line. And it'll work a lot better. But, uh, I got everything hinged on this one. I pretty much got this wing caught up with that one. And it's looking pretty good. Just a couple little spots, a little spot right there. A couple little spots on this leading edge. What I need to hit yet. And I just sanded, I won't, I won't uh, prime these whole things again. I'll just uh, prime where I feel. Keep the primer down, this is a, my primer gets heavy quick, and I got this door patched too. Just a couple little spots in there, and you get it. Flaps work great. Uh, you got to make sure that you're getting the same throw out of both of them, you know, before you get too far. Your ailerons work good. We're good to go. This is the new wing. It's pretty much caught up with the other wing now. I got all this in here primed and the spray all that white. Okay. Got all these done. And my front gear doors. See, that's it's fat here and skinny here, and it hinges on this side. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, this hinge is gonna have to be longer than this hinge. They ain't gonna be, they won't, the same size hinges won't work. And, uh, let me show you how to do that. Quick and easy, baby. They're right, Butch. <laughs> uh, that part's seeming to look pretty good. These here, I gotta prime the other side yet. Man, them is the best gear doors I ever made right there. Them things look good. I really like these little that foam for them liners, man. That looks awesome. Don't weigh nothing. That looks just beautiful. A little bit of sand in here. But that's good enough for my gear door liners. I ain't going to get too picky on these. I'm just going to sand them. Do that other side. Both good. This one, I couldn't put that piece of wood on. Because I had to give the gear back to Dad to make some alterations. So I'm going to have to wait and I'll just glue a block of wood on here. Once I get the gear in, then I'll just have to paint the sides of it. But it'll be alright. 
it in that oil we put on him, he just keeps that paint from sticking too. Beautiful. Right. Man, them came out good too. Look at them edges. Bang it. Bang it. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna call all this stuff good. And keep the trucking on. Okay, what do I need to do this morning? That's what I do in the morning. I sit down and get my game plan out. And uh, figure out what I'm going to do. Get these looking, looking decent. You know what I mean? I don't want to spend too much time on it. I just want it to look decent. Because after the test flight, I don't want to have to spend go back and do nothing to this, you know. I want to just be able to hit the road with it this summer. Put out some Thunder Chief kits. See my babies in the magazine. That's what I think would be awesome. When you get that model magazine every month, you open that bad boy up, see one of your babies inside. I think that's just got to be the ultimate. You know? 